Could it be possible that a simple nutrient like vitamin D holds the key to combating cardiovascular diseases? This is a question that has intrigued medical researchers for decades. The journey of exploration started with the earliest studies that pointed towards a significant relationship between vitamin D and atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases. It was seen that penile erection, which predominantly depends on vascular events, was strongly linked with these diseases. This was further complicated by the fact that vitamin D deficiency was associated with atherogenic dyslipidemia, diabetes mellitus, and reduced serum testosterone levels, all of which are classic risk factors for the onset of erectile dysfunction. In a breakthrough study by Barassi et al., it was demonstrated that there was a higher presence of vitamin D deficiency in patients with arterial erectile dysfunction. This was supported by Melamed et al., who showed that low serum vitamin D levels were associated with a higher prevalence of peripheral arterial disease in the general population. In fact, a study involving over 7,000 vitamin D deficient patients revealed an association between this deficiency and numerous cardiovascular disease states such as hypertension and coronary artery disease. However, it was not all doom and gloom. In a glimmer of hope, a cross-sectional analysis of over 3,000 men aged over 20 years found that vitamin D deficiency in individuals free of atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases was associated with an increased prevalence of erectile dysfunction. The relationship between vitamin D supplementation and atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases was also explored. An observational retrospective study involving over 10,000 patients showed that vitamin D supplement use improved survival in deficient subjects, hinting at the potential benefit of this intervention. This was later supported by a randomized placebo-controlled preliminary study, which suggested that daily vitamin D supplementation may ameliorate cardiovascular disease risk factors. The role of vitamin D in the endocrine system was also scrutinized. Testosterone, which modulates nearly every component involved in erectile function, was found to be positively associated with vitamin D. This was seen in a study involving over 2,000 men where a lower vitamin D level was associated with a higher prevalence of hypogonadism. The most striking revelation, however, was that vitamin D supplementation might increase testosterone levels. In a first-of-its-kind clinical randomized controlled trial, it was observed that overweight men with vitamin D deficiency had a significant increase in serum testosterone levels after vitamin D supplementation for one year. This was further supported by recent research which demonstrated that vitamin D supplementation improves testosterone levels, metabolic syndrome, and erectile function in middle-aged vitamin D deficient men. In summary, the journey of understanding the relationship between vitamin D and atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases has been a fascinating one. From observing the dire consequences of vitamin D deficiency to discovering the potential benefits of vitamin D supplementation, the medical community has come a long way. As we continue to delve deeper into this relationship, one thing is certain, vitamin D is a key player in the fight against cardiovascular diseases.